I have this lovely Kirby Avalier donated by Alan O. some time ago, and sitting to the left of it, I have the full tool set, recently donated by Alan O. And I want to clean my carpeted stairs. Hmm. Wonder how I can manage to do that with this thing. Let's see. I think this will help. Bag off. Take the cord off. And take the handle off. Now, what I will do is there. I'll bend this around a little bit and pop this into the handle and I'm going to take this upstairs and you'll see me do the stairs real fast with this 150 CFM monster. There the Avalier sits at the bottom of the stairs and I plugged it in, in room next door at the bottom of the stairs, and I normally prefer to have the cord really below me and behind me, and you'll see how I handle cord management in a minute. And for this video, I'm just going to do the horizontal treads, not the risers, although I can, but I normally prefer to do uh, a different procedure with a different machine, like say the Heritage 2 Legend that I made a video of several years ago, doing the vertical risers rather than the horizontal treads because the machine's a little bit lighter but this machine is still going to have great pickup because of the very high CFM and of course uh, at least medium high agitation I suppose. to put some of this cord around my neck a little bit and then I will preset the height to number three and you notice I will have the bulk of the weight in one hand and I will have another hand underneath the machine the pedal in neutral and I'll use that just to adjust the angle a little bit if need be so off we go <laughs>
So did you see just how fast that whole procedure went? It probably takes longer to prep the machine and then unprep the machine than it does to actually do a set of 13 stairs. I have one more set of stairs. They go from the basement to the first floor and they're nice flat wood. No fiber on them whatsoever, no carpet at all. So if this is the only machine that I had to work with, what's one way I could go and reset this machine up to go and clean wooden stairs? So I've got a couple of different attachments I could use. So here you have, I think Kirby calls this a wall brush. As you can see, it definitely has bristles that go all the way around the entire perimeter of the brush. And there's essentially no breaks. A tiny little one right here, but there's really no breaks in here. And you can use this, and I've, I've tried this, but I want to use for this application this guy right here. Because if you take a look at it, you've got a big opening here in the middle. you got a little bit of uh, agitation, some bristles on either side. You have two openings right here, and you actually have a little notch on the extreme ends on either side, and of course, nifty little soft rollers. So when you're using this and you happen to, say, butt up against a corner or a wall, there's this lip that's up at an angle that should be able to get little debris all the way along the front edge fairly easily. So. Let's use this. Now let's see. What else am I going to need to convert this machine to use that? Well, get the hose out. And now I'm going to lighten the machine a little bit by taking the front nozzle off. That'll save me a couple of pounds. So we'll put this on. And now that converts the machine to hose mode, which with the little button right here, puts the machine in high fan speed. So we end up having, this exact machine here doesn't quite have 120 CFM like my Centria 2. It's a little bit less than that, but it's well over 110. You have an awful lot of airflow coming out of the end of this hose. I mean, a ton of airflow. And of course, this fits in there, and you know, off we go. So let me uh, change the camera once again, and let's do the stairs. So you see the Avalier all set up down at the bottom of the stairs, and I will say this, that the converted canister doesn't really sit well on a single step. It hangs over too much, and I can't recommend trying to precariously balance it on a step. So let's see how well this works out. I am going to have to hold the canister in one hand and then the attachment in the other hand. If I were to guess, I would say what's coming out of here CFM wise is probably over 85 CFM. So there's an awful lot of airflow on the end of this tool.
I'll say this. So this tool works very, very quickly. And I really like the idea that it's the entire width of the stair. I mean, that's, that's really fantastic. So I mean, you can go like this if you need to, but this will cover a lot of area very, very quickly. So that's, that's not a bad choice, I suppose, if this is all you have. Now the only thing that remains is to put the Kirby back together in upright mode and put the tools away. And I am sweating like a pig and I'm a little out of breath. And you say, oh, that's because the Kirby, the Kirby did it. It's just unmanageable. It's way too heavy and bulky. Nope, doesn't have anything to do with the Kirby or the vacuuming the stairs, either set of stairs at all. It has to do with the fact that I have three lights. So that's three lights, four different locations. So that's 12 individual light moves. <laughs> Yee. So let's go ahead and put this thing back in upright mode. Let's see, take to rewrap the cord. All right, there we go. Almost done. I guess it would have been nice for me to uh, untangle the cord in advance. Somehow I managed not to do that. And we're all done. We're right back where we started. So it's a pretty flexible machine. And one of these days, I'll have to take the um, Avalier shampooer that uh, Mr. Alan O also donated to the lab and run that because I haven't had a chance yet to run that. My, my carpets simply aren't, aren't very dirty. So maybe I'll just have to run it on clean carpets. Hey, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.